Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years, are you gonna let him make it 10? That's right, that's why we're here, to get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! All right, let's go. So we start round number one of Andre Bishop against the sensational Cuban, Joel Savone. You know, I heard a lot of experts ringside talking about the lack of experience for Bishop compared to Savone. Of course, Savone's a nine-time champion, and you have to wonder and ask yourself, will the nerves of Andre Bishop start to get to him? Will he be rattled against such a worthy opponent? Watch the hook! Bishop scoring with that right hand. Halfway through this round here. Bishop's left now getting into the mix. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That time, he found it, he saw it, he gave it. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed where maybe one guy can go and just utilize like a completely that, different tool, like, like try to be a power puncher on a given night, or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy is gonna be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So, start one hand. He's gonna be looking, he's gonna react. Start the right hand, just a little flinch to the right hand, throw the left hand instead. Misdirection. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Protecting his head well with his guard. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. And this round comes to an end. Guys, keep those hands busy, just like that. I want to see another round just like that. Better, much better. Watch the water. Now to keep the pressure up on this kid and keep your hand. Keep surfing. Don't stand in front of me. You know. Okay, okay, that's what I like to see. You're out pointing him, but I want to see those hands. Let's go. Esta esperando. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, the nine-time gold medalist Joel Savone has not been in a position like this often. Andre Bishop has built up a big lead. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Halfway through round number two. Now hugging on the inside. Good exchange, he fires back. And now he's targeting upstairs. That's okay. Hey, hey. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Scores up top with a left. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Bishop's putting forth a great combination there. 
But it really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Fine looking right hand by Andre Bishop. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Bishop's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Savone's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. You gotta pick it up. Carissi's game plan being executed perfectly by Andre Bishop in that last round. He has a lot of momentum. Yeah, now when he gets back to the corner, of course, Gus only has to tell him, keep doing what you're doing, but a guy like Gus, here remind him, hey, it starts with the jab, always fundamentals. I think Joel Savone may be as shocked as the rest of us. Andre Bishop is scoring often. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That's nice work by Bishop there landing the left hand. Good combination to the head. Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Piercing jab. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good flush shot upstairs. Turn the sender with the left hand. Hey, keep your hands up. Good work defensively by Andre Bishop. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him. And then he timed them beautifully. It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight. Well, he started the pace. See, that's the funny thing about it. He said it, but he might not be able to keep it up. Just a dominating evening by Andre Bishop tonight. He is clearly up big on the scorecards. Trainer Gus Carissi has to know it. You can just see by the way he's dealing with him in between rounds. He knows it, and he can go two ways with it. Get the rounds out, work on things, carry him a little bit, or go close to show. You've got to fight this round, Otis. You've landed the big shot. This guy's going to sweep. Oh, it's been that kind of night for Andre Bishop. Everything he does works. One more round to keep it that way. And as a trainer, you might remind him of that movie if he watched it, The Gambler, you know, where the guy thought that he went to bed and all his teams were winning at halftime. He woke up and found out that he owed a lot of money. And he said, what are you doing? And the guy said, Charlie, maybe no one told you. We don't pay off at halftime. This fight's not over. Keep your concentration. Joel Savone was a substantial favorite here against the young upstart Andre Bishop. But Bishop is in control and headed to victory. Oh, a big shot. A big shot comes home for him. And he walked right into it. Bishop's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Just a minute to go in this bout. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. And he engages in the clinch. Up top with the right hand. Bishop's left, landing well. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. And a well-placed combination by Andre Bishop. Good accurate 
work there after blocking that blow. Combo lands upstairs. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Completely one-sided fight. At least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes. You know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games, baby. it's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> Like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, Bishop Brothers are in the house. Big Baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Get 
Keep it up! Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> Always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Plum. She's a smart girl, that Megan. Welcome, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas. We have a big night of boxing ahead. Plus, so many are looking forward to our undercard. It is the pro debut for the much heralded Andre Bishop. The middleweight will be facing right, so the crafty veteran clean Lucius Palmer. Touch him up All let's go. from here, the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago right now. So round one is underway, Andre Bishop against Lucius Palmer. So many times we talk about the nerves that somebody making their pro debut can be having. Don't expect that out of Andre Bishop, not with his amateur pedigree. Matchup in front of us tonight, Teddy, a power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned. Now, early on in the fight, what do you look for out of the power puncher? To take his power, you know, it's not just power, it's where you distribute that power. If I'm in the corner of the power guy, 
I want to distribute it downstairs to the body. No better way to sap somebody's endurance, mentally and physically, than going downstairs. Good block. Palmer's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Now he ties up there. Palmer's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Smooth work by Andre Bishop. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Well, as if it's right on cue, Lucius Palmer here at the end of the round. Look at that! Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Palmer's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. So much anticipation for the pro debut of the young American, Andre Bishop, here tonight facing Lucius Palmer. Through one round, Teddy, has anything revealed itself? His hand speed, he's very fast in there. I think he has to settle down a little bit, though, as the rounds go on. Nice work. Good job in that round. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. Throws the jab, carry it away, and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. We told you Lucius Palmer was a crafty veteran. As we start round number two, I think Andre Bishop got a good taste of that. Palmer just bided his time, waiting around for the final moments of that first round, then flurried and rallied and tried to steal it. That's what he does in most of his fights. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Well played, straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice work, the left hand to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, Palmer's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Bishop's right hand scores well. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight. Oh! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. How does it get better than that to start your pro debut? Andre Bishop knocks out Lucius Palmer. 
back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios. I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. I don't believe in building a record fight in nobody. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm going to help you get there. You want to take some fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm going to be impressed. But if you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm going to be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi, of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. And Andre Bishop, he bowled that moment. So good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We're here to answer that question for you at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans, Louisiana. Coming off his pro debut win against Lucius Palmer, now Bishop moves forward against Mike Walker. A stinging uppercut by Andre Bishop. To the head he goes with a left hand. Walker's got to deal with a cut cheek. Nice solid left hand scored by Walker. Well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Now he places that hook right to the body. Walker's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Andre Bishop's defense is paying off now. Halfway through round number one. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Walker's on the wrong end of a razor-sharp hook. Overhand right can be so effective. Power puncher versus the high stamina fighter. How does the high stamina fighter want this fight to unfold as it goes along? Well, the high stamina fighter, what he wants to do is he wants to get a lead. Get the lead, go out there quick out of the gate, and then later on you have the power puncher looking for one shot at a time. He's going to be searching them all night, and he's never going to find them. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Mike Walker. Well, we've had the pleasure of watching Andre Bishop move along in his career. Now the young unbeaten expected to really shine against Mike Walker here. Yeah, but one of the things that could be a variable that could surprise somebody a little bit, you prepare for a man's skill, but you're not always sure about his will. And that's something that might show itself before this night is over. 
breathe, relax. How you feeling out there? How you know. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Walker's plan may be to have more urgency at this point because that cut of his just has blood streaming all over him. Well, there's three sides that can be affected. He can be affected himself by seeing his own blood. His opponent can get affected, get a little over anxious, and the judges, they could be affected a little bit by seeing that kind of blood. Parries that punch away. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. He returns the favor with an uppercut. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Walker's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring He's too consistently. The exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. Bishop's able to land a good, solid he left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishops is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Scores with the combo to the head. Right hand downstairs. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. And yet another big shot comes in. Walker's down. It was a piercing combination that put him on the floor. Well, you stand in front of your man too long, not doing anything. That's what's going to happen. Two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Get some water. Teddy, you think this is the moment where Gus Carisi gives him the green light and says, hey, you got him right where you want him. I mean, Bishop got to his opponent there. Not an experienced guy like Gus. He'll tell him, stay after him. You got him a little bit hurt. Keep pushing him downhill a little bit. But he'll tell him, do it the right way. Don't get careless. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Bishop could really use a pit stop here. He needs to refuel. Yeah, he needs to tie up. Walkers banged up by a left hand. A headshot blocked. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. Very accurate with the overhand right. Walker's showing us a side that we haven't seen before, and obviously the knockdown brought that about. Yes, it did, and he's hoping that right now that it confuses the opponent. Don't be so sure he's going to stay with this, Joe. He might just be doing it for a diversion tactic. You know, just to survive right now, maybe buy him a little bit of time, confuse his opponent, keep his opponent at bay, and then go back to what he knows best. We'll look out for that. Cover up, cover up! He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Back and forth exchange. Now, this is exactly what I love about an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet sign. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Nice. Solid. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Bishop.
I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going, Brandon. 